these while I gather myself. We don't have AC downstairs and it's 87 today. We're burning up down here. But I need to film a video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my debt update number two. Basically, so if you are new, I am on the debt-free journey to pay off my credit card debt. I do have credit card debt, but I'm showing you guys my journey of paying them off one by one and we're, we're getting there. So the first card that I'm paying off is my Chase of Freedom, which I love this card. Um, so first we started off with like started off with like nineteen thousand, no, one thousand nine hundred and forty-five dollars, and then I paid it down to one thousand four hundred and thirty-five. But I forgot that I had to get an oil change, so the amount is going to go up. I spent $175 on an oil change. That is the oil change and the air filter replacement. I know that's a lot. I get my oil changes done at the dealership, so it is more expensive, but I just wanna make sure everything is done right, so that's on my part. Maybe I'll find something cheaper or better in the future, but right now, that's what I'm most comfortable with, so that's what it is usually my oil oil changes go from 75 dollars to 90 and right now the price increased to about 89 dollars plus the 70 for the filter so that's why i got up to 175 dollars so instead of going down this paycheck we went up and that's okay because I have done so well recently the last two weeks. I've been watching my spending. I have been forcing myself to not spend anything on not essentials. Um, the only slip ups I had are, I bought coffee one day and I bought a hammock. So that is what I slipped up on. And I'm really proud of myself. Debt free journey is going to take a long time and I just want to get better at being financially stable. It wasn't that hard to like stop myself from buying things that i didn't need but it was a little bit like i can tell i just online shop a lot i shop online all day long i'm looking at things adding things to my amazon cart and then i guess that's like giving me the dopamine hit that i need to feel like i'm actually going to do something like buy it but i don't buy it like tomorrow when it processes my debt on this card will go up from 14 from $1,435 to $1,610, which I'm okay with because I had to do that. It was an essential. I want to keep my car in good shape while I have it. it kind of sucks, but that is an essential thing that I needed to do. So I'm not beating myself up too bad. Okay, so steps that I'm taking the next two weeks until the paycheck to keep my spending to a minimum. First, I'm not going to buy frivolous things that don't mean anything to me and I'm sticking to my essentials. I'm making my coffee at home. I am pushing myself to not buy any coffee this next two weeks because I do have coffee, coffee makers. I have all the stuff I need for it. One thing I do know is that I am going to run out of coffee creamer but it's not an essential. So I will be drinking black coffee for a few days and I'm fine with that. So that's gonna be a big challenge, honestly. No buying anything right now my struggle is amazon i'm on amazon all day long thinking of random things to buy adding them to my cart and that's kind of crazy so i'm just going to keep pushing myself to not spend the money because i want to get this card down if i can get this card down to i believe it's like 1500 it's in the 75th percent utilization 75 percent utilization and that's okay even though i know you want to be at the zero percent but like that's a good sign to get to that first step is a great sign i literally am eating rice and beans for dinner i'm going bare bones dinner meals literally lots of rice and beans so i'm gonna try out the rice and beans recipe literally <laughs> to see how it goes i will update you guys on how it went <laughs> i'm gonna do it i'm actually gonna try and i am also just watching a lot of financial videos to keep myself on track because i need to stay on track and also just find it very interesting and educational watching those videos 
So those are the goals that I'm going to take for the next two weeks to stay on track. It is literally so hot in here, can you tell? I'm so sweaty. Um, so guys, that is it for this debt update video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave me a comment down below. Leave me some inspirational quotes or something because I am struggling, but I'm pushing myself to not spend money because I wanna get this card paid off so I can move on to the next. Um, let me know how you guys are doing and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.